Hey, so I recently compiled a list of cold calling videos. These are the top ranking videos. And you know what I figured out though? They are all the worst videos I've ever seen, especially cold calling. And this is no diss, but I have to ask a question though. Why are they even cold calling when they can be compiling lists, plugging them into uh, systems like this ringless voicemail blast and just getting it all out in within a couple of minutes? But this is no diss to them, though, guys. Um, I'm just wondering if you're going to automate everybody else's stuff. How come your stuff isn't automated? But for those of you who are actually into cold calling, let me show you the right way of doing it, guys. Uh, how you're doing it, just picking up the phone and just calling the list, just getting it done, just <sighs> shooting first, asking questions last. That is not the proper way to cold call. The proper way to cold call is to not let it be cold at all. You scrape your list. You take what is unique to them. You find what you have that matches as a solution for whatever issue they have. If you have some type of testimonial for that, if you have some type of screenshot or case study uh, that can prove what you do, then you send them that first through means of DM, through means of email, through something like that. Your calls should not be the first touch point you have with a potential prospect or a potential uh, client, what I mean by that. So it shouldn't ever be cold. Unless you're doing like in mass amounts, like what I said with the software or something like that. If I'm going to take my time to get on the phone and try to talk with you, I want my percentages of success to be through the freaking roof. So what I mean by that is, guys, look, let's say um, I am trying to reverse market to somebody that I see running Facebook ads. I know that I have an offer on a profit positioning agency dot com site to where people will never have to run ads again. They never have to pay for advertising or marketing again. Right. That would meet the uh, the you know needs of a person that's running ads and their ads aren't profitable. Even if they are profitable, if they never have to pay for them again, that fits them. So if I have a case study for that or something, I can inbox them either through that ad specifically, or I can look up their company name, get their contact information, send them examples of people getting conversions through ads without them having to run the ads themselves. And then I can say, look, this is a list of all the leads that came in through ads that someone else was running for us. We didn't have to risk our own money on you're running ads. When can I talk to you about this? But most of the time when we send them screenshots, we'll just start sending people leads, start sending them screenshots of what we do and everything because they don't know you. It's a cold call because they don't know you. It's scary because they don't know you can do what you say you can do in your first initial message, guys. If you're sending cold stuff, it needs to be in mass outreach. Plain and simple. Like, quit putting yourself in positions that are difficult. If you're going to reach out to strangers, do it in big numbers then. Because basically you're saying you want to be lucky. Fine, do give yourself the best chances then. Like, dog, I... I I use a software that can reach 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 11,000 people in a day. You understand? Like, dog, that's the stuff you do cold if you have to. But if I'm reaching out to you one by one, taking my time and all of that stuff to call you, I need to know that you've, you've seen, you heard of me before. You've seen something that I've done before so that we can have a, a mutually beneficial conversation. You understand it could potentially be lucrative uh, for both sides, right? Both parties. So I'm going to my, my first touch point is me sending you a testimonial. My first touch point is me sending you a screenshot. Maybe uh, let's say I got call fire and I got call tracking numbers and I've been getting phone calls from leads and stuff in your industry. So I'm going to download those phone calls and I'm going to send you the recordings of those phone calls. That's my first thing that I'll do out of the blue. If I never met you before, I'll download the calls. And I'll send you the audio clips. You'll listen to them. Say, why, why did you send me this? I just wanted you to hear how good the uh, and how qualified the leads are that come in th uh, through our system or whatever. Like, and then they say, OK, well, uh, how, how does this work? 
then I can proceed to tell them stuff. But guess what? There, remember, you ever have you ever heard uh, first impression, right? First impression, right? Okay. Well, if their first impression is you showing them what you can actually do versus you telling them, then like dog, they'll have way more respect for you, way more patience for you. Like dog, a lot of people just be rushing for uh, results and stuff like that. They're impatient, but that's because they don't know. They're hoping it's a toss up in the air if they send you some money and everything. But if their first time ever coming across from you has been through some teachings or through some type of proof or showing of what you can do, then now they're a little bit more patient to get the results for themselves because they actually seen it in action before. They know that they just stick around long enough. If they endure to the end, they'll receive the crown like the Bible says, right? So that's how we do our outreach, our prospecting. If we cold, it's not a cold call. It's not a cold call. Like we'll create a list. We'll see what's going on with them. And then through email and DMs, we'll start sending them proof of what we do. And then we'll reach out on the phone. But most of the time, they'll reach out and tell us to call them. You understand? But then we'll send them to a booking calendar, which turns into a webinar so we can talk to them all at once. That's how we do things over here on this side. Um, so check this out. Go to our Profit Positioning Agency website. Uh, you can see how we formulate, uh, formulate some of our offers, how we structure them, the irresistible offers, how we automate things, how we don't even have a freaking matter of fact. That's a good video topic. I'll talk uh, talk about that next. Um, <laughs> but yeah, guys, like, listen, stop cold calling, period. You know, make sure they know who you are when you reach out. Then you don't have to have the Michael Jackson butterflies, do you? If they already know who you are, do you have to have the Michael Jackson butterflies? No, you don't. Exactly. Right. 